Welcome to Around the World Channel. The Pence-Harris VP debate now has big consequences, the New York Times. There's a reason why people question the trustworthiness of Hillary Clinton and that's because they're paying attention, Mr. Pat Toomey announces retirement from Senate, won't seek office in 2022 Fox News. Senator Pat Toomey, R. Pa, announced on Monday that he will not seek re-election to his Senate seat in 2022 and that he will not run for Pennsylvania governor that year either. Stock market news live updates. Stocks jump as investors eye Trump's health. Yahoo Finance. It can happen in a New York minute. We are talking about the massive gains certain healthcare stocks are able to notch in what feels like a split second. Unlike names from other areas of the market. Sources. No new COVID-19 positives for Tennessee Titans. New England Patriots Kansas City Chiefs game on ESPN. The Tennessee Titans received no new positive COVID-19 test results Monday morning, multiple sources told ESPN. Election live updates. Biden heading to Florida while doctors say Trump could be discharged as soon as today, the Washington Post. Biden is scheduled Monday to head to the key battleground state of Florida to court Haitian and Latino voters and participate in a nationally televised town hall hosted by NBC News. Gay men take over Proud Boys hashtag on Twitter to reclaim our pride, USA Today. Gay men are reclaiming hashtag Proud Boys on Twitter after Trump encouraged the Proud Boys to stand back and stand by at the first presidential debate. Safety Panel has, great concern, about NASA plans to test moon mission software, Ars Technica. Enlarged teams at NASA's Mashad Assembly Facility move the core stage toward a barge in January that will carry it to a test stand in Mississippi. Norwegian Cruise extends suspension of cruises through November, MarketWatch. Shares of Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings Limited. NCLH, minus 1.70% fell 1.1% in pre-market trading Monday, after the cruise operator extended the suspension of cruises to include those embarking November. Nest Audio Review. Throw your Google Home in the trash, Android Police. Google's first assistant speaker, Google Home, turns four this year. The company says that device was designed primarily as a means to access the Google Assistant, and music playback was secondary. Bristol Myers to buy heart drugs developer Myocardia for about $13 billion, CNBC. Bristol Myers Squibb said on Monday it would buy Myocardia for about $13 billion to bolster its portfolio of heart disease treatments, as it seeks to reduce some of its dependence on cancer drugs. Please, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay tuned for upcoming news.